Number 30. Which of the following compounds precipitates from a solution that has the concentrations indicated? And then see Appendix J for KSP values. So we have silver sulfide, AG2S. They told us that the silver ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 10th molarity, and the sulfide, the S2- minus concentration, is 1 times 10 to the negative 13th molarity. So we just have to figure out, from these molarities or concentrations, are we going to form a precipitate? Meaning, is there going to be some solid that remains in the solution that did not dissolve, right? Think of it as, you know, if you add way too much sugar into your coffee or tea, right? Some of it is not going to dissolve. It's going to sink all the way to the bottom. That's a precipitate, just the stuff that didn't get dissolved in solution because you just added too much. So in order to do that, we always have to compare where we're at by finding a QSP to the known KSP at equilibrium. And from there, we could just see if we're supersaturated or unsaturated and whether a precipitate will form. Okay, so let's write that balance equation. We know that we need that balance equation, right? AG2S, that's the solid that's going to dissolve. This breaks down into the two ions. They told it to us already, so thank you for that, right? AG plus, that's aqueous because it's an ion, and S2 minus, that's an ion, so aqueous. Let's balance it. Uh, we have two silvers, so I do have to put a two in front of here. They told us what the concentrations were already, so I'm just going to list them out. Don't get tempted to take this and multiply it by two. Mm -mm. The balanced equation is separate from how much they told you you have. You have no more or no less than one times 10 to the negative 10th. So one times 10 to the negative 10th molarity for this one, and one times 10 to the negative 13th molarity for this one. Ooh, what happened to that M? Okay. Now I'm going to take this. I'm just going to put it over to the side because now we're going to write the QSP, which is the same equation as the KSP, right? We're just now seeing where we're at. You know, we don't know we're at equilibrium, so we're just seeing what's up. QSP equals the concentration of your two ions. So AG plus times S2 minus, raise them to the coefficients, right? We did have a 2 in front of the AG, so I do have to raise the AG to the second. But there was only one sulfur, so, I mean, you could raise this to the first, but you don't have to. The AG value is 1 times 10 to the negative 10th, and the S is 1 times 10 to the negative 13th. Okay, let's plug those in. QSP equals... Okay, we got the two brackets. We got 1 times 10 to the negative 10th, that's squared, and then 1 times 10 to the negative 13th. I'm going to plug this into the calculator, and let's see if your answer matches mine. So we had 1 times 10 to the negative 10th, that's squared, and then times by 1 times 10 to the negative 13th. So I get 1, I guess I'll say 1.0, or, you know, 1. I guess 1 is, is better. <laughs> eh. Uh, I guess one. One times 10 to the negative 33rd. So now the next thing is we just compare. So the QSP value, one times 10 to the negative 33rd, and we compare that with the KSP, which was what we found in the back of the textbook, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 49th. Now always go for those exponents first, right? These are different, so you don't even have to look at the values in the front. Just go by which of these exponents is greater. Negative 33 versus a negative 49. A negative 33 is greater than a negative 49 on a number line. So that means that the QSP is greater than the KSP. So if where we're at exceeds what equilibrium states, and we're greater than the KSP. We are super saturated. That means that there will be some precipitate at the bottom or, you know, somewhere, somewhere in the solution. So in this case, we will form a precipitate, some of the solid that didn't dissolve. We had too much. So precipitate, precipitate forms, we'll say. And that's it. Wahoo. There we go. 
I really hope this helped. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, I hope you're doing well out there and I hope this stuff is easy, you know, getting easy, more practice, more fun, chemistry. <laughs> it kind of, kind of took, took the uh, Papa John slogans, more practice, more problems, better grades. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> I am. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.